How's it going, you guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Madison Hill, and yes, we are kicking this week off and this new year off with another Pop Off with Madison. For today's Pop Off, I'm gonna be talking about Kim Kardashian and Kanye West because you guys, so much has been happening with these two and we need to discuss. So first and foremost, prior to the end of the year, we heard that Kanye West actually bought a house right across the street from Kim Kardashian. Super weird, I know, especially because Kim Kardashian has been super adamant about wanting to be declared legally single but nonetheless, Kanye West did it. He bought this house. And now we have this new report from Hollywood Life that's giving us a little insight into how Kim's family feels about it. Spoiler alert, they're not here for it, which I totally get, especially because this past weekend, Kanye West was seen with somebody new. And of course, we're already getting contradictory reports about Kanye West and this new woman. According to TMZ, Kanye West is just dating around. He's enjoying the single life. And according to Page Six, Kanye and this new woman are officially dating. And on top of all of that, we've also now learned why Kim Kardashian was not seen spending New Year's Eve with Pete Davidson in Miami. And to bring it full circle for you guys on all of this tea, of course, the reason why Kim Kardashian was not there is because of Kanye West himself. I'm telling you, it is some good Kim and Kanye mess to kick off the first pop-off of the year. And because it is the first pop-off of the year and the first pop-off of the week, obviously I have to check in and see how you guys are doing. As you probably noticed, I unintentionally and slightly intentionally took the last two weeks off. I didn't upload any videos. Videos. And to just be completely honest with you guys, the reason why that happened is things just got really, really busy before the holidays. I had to get some other work done that I do outside of doing my YouTube channel. I also had my best friend from college come into town with her boyfriend and then he left and she stayed through the new year. My family was here. So honestly, the holidays just kind of came up really fast and I really wanted to take the time to be present and not be on my phone 24 seven and not be on my computer 24 seven. And I know I didn't give you guys a heads up about that, which I do apologize, but I will say I had a really nice time. I'm feeling super refreshed after these two weeks, a little bit of anxiety, but it wouldn't be me if I didn't have a little anxiety. I feel like that always happens to me around the new year because there's just so much pressure to set these goals and manifest and do all these things. And it just can feel a little overwhelming. So if you're also feeling a little overwhelmed, I'm right there with you. But I will say I love even numbers. We're at 2022. Taylor Swift also wrote a song called 22. That is obviously a hit. So I have a really good feeling about this year for us here in the House of Hill. We of course are a fan Family. We support each other in celeb tea and everything else. So I'm really excited to see what this year has in store for all of us. I'm seriously just so thankful and grateful for all of you. So make sure you let me know how you're doing, how your holiday was, all of that good stuff down below. And now without further ado, because I know you straight to the tea people are probably very over this intro at this point, but I had to catch up with you guys. Make sure you put this time code down there in the comments to help out your fellow straight to the tea people. And now let's go ahead and get straight to unwrapping these Kim and Kanye facts. Sorry, I can't figure out how I'm liking my hair. If I like it in front of the ear, behind the ear, Anyway, let's go ahead and get into this. All right, so as you all know, Kim Kardashian essentially spent the last few weeks of last year going to the court, asking them to declare her legally single, and also asking them to expedite her divorce proceeding. Now, while Kim Kardashian was going to the court and asking them to declare her legally single, we know that Kanye West, on the other hand, was doing the most publicly to not only get Kim Kardashian's attention, but also he was trying to get her back. Aside from posting on his Instagram and calling out to her in concerts, Kanye West also made a major move right before the end of the year, and that was buying a house right across the street from Kim Kardashian. According to multiple reports, Kanye West bought this $4.5 million home right across from Kim Kardashian. It's reportedly a fixer upper, and yes, only in LA can you buy a fixer upper for $4.5 million. Love that for me. In addition to that, I also wanna let you guys know that Kanye West, in order to secure this house, and make sure he's the one who got it. He also spent $420,000 over asking. Now, for those of you who've watched Selling Sunset, like myself, you know that that is a really big deal and Kanye West really wanted to make sure he got this house right across from Kim. While we initially heard from sources that Kim Kardashian didn't mind that Kanye West bought this house right across the street from her and that Kanye West was doing this that way he could be close to the kids, we now have this new report from Hollywood Life about how Kim Kardashian's family feels about Kanye West and this new purchase. In this new report from Hollywood Life, a source said, quote, well, Kim Kim is okay with Kanye's decision to buy a house across the street. Her family is not really feeling this at all. They think it's just a little bit weird and in fact said to Kim that no one buys a house across the street from their ex-wife while they're divorcing. This source went on to say that Courtney and Chloe's exes see their kids and don't live across the street and that everyone around Kim feels that she needs to set boundaries with Kanye. This source then ended their insider info saying that Kim's family feels that Kanye could have bought a house a few blocks away and still have 
access to the kids and they find this all quote a little bit too strange. Now while I don't necessarily disagree with how the Kardashians feel about Kanye West buying a house across from Kim, I will say it might be easier for Kim Kardashian to start setting some boundaries now that Kanye West is dating somebody new. Allegedly, of course, this woman is actress Julia Fox. So Kanye West and Julia Fox were actually spotted this weekend having dinner at Carbone in Miami. And considering the paparazzi photos that surfaced from that dinner, it definitely looks like it was romantic and clearly a date. Since Kanye West was spotted with Julia Fox, and like I said, those first pictures looked very romantic. They were also seen on a second dinner date. Of course, the rumors started that these two were dating. And now we have some contradicting reports about the status of their relationship. So according to TMZ, sources said that Kanye West is just enjoying the single life and that he's trying to get back in the dating game after Kim Kardashian is clearly not wanting to reconcile with him. And then we also have a report from page six where sources said that in fact, Kanye West and this Julia Fox woman are actually dating. This page six source said, quote, Julia and Ye are dating. They both just got out of former relationships and they've helped each other recover immensely. They're kind of kindred spirits and it's cool to watch. However, I do want to mention when Julia was recently caught by paparazzi and asked about dating Kanye West and when her next date with Kanye West would be, she responded saying, quote, I don't know. So that was either a really good deflection or the two are in fact just casually seeing one another. I don't know, but I just wanted to let you guys know that Julia did make a slight comment about being seen with Kanye West recently. Now moving on, let's talk about Kim Kardashian and her relationship with Pete Davidson. Now, although the two reportedly spent Christmas together here in Los Angeles, they were in fact not together to celebrate New Year's Eve. As I'm sure several of you know or may or may not have watched, Pete Davidson was actually in Miami hosting a New Year's Eve party with Miley Cyrus. And according to this new report from Hollywood Life, we now know that Pete Davidson did invite Kim Kardashian to join him in Miami for New Year's Eve and that she wanted to be there for him because this was a big moment. However, there was just one little problem with Kim going to Miami and that one little problem was Kanye West. As this Hollywood Life source said, quote, when Kim contacted Kanye to ask if he would be available to watch the kids, Kanye said he wouldn't be. Kim knew that one of them needed to be there with the kids on New Year's Eve because they made a pact to always have one of them there with the children on holidays. Now the cherry on top of this whole Kanye West not being available to watch the kids on New Year's Eve situation is the fact that Kanye West coincidentally just decided to have a surprise performance in Miami on New Year's Eve and we also know he was taking this Julia Fox woman out so therefore Kim because of Kanye was unable to ring in the new year and get that New Year's Eve kiss from Pete Davidson which part of me thinks was Kanye's plan all along which of course just speculation but I'm just saying I could see Kanye planning something like this and clearly I'm already starting to pop off so let's just go ahead and make this pop off official and get to the first shambong of 2022. Okay, so starting off talking about Kanye West buying a house across the street from Kim Kardashian situation, I rarely agree with Kourtney Kardashian and Khloe Kardashian, but in this situation, I couldn't agree with them more. Personally, I feel like if Kanye West had not made so many public attempts to try to get Kim's attention and try to get her back, maybe it would be a little less weird that he bought this house right across the street, but considering he so clearly wanted to reconcile when Kim didn't, it feels really, really odd for him to buy this house. I don't know, just the fact that it's a fixer-upper, he paid over asking, it all just feels a little too calculated in my opinion. And while I think it's easy for Kanye West to say, oh, you know, I bought this house, that way I could be closer to the kids, of course no one's gonna judge him for that. But I also think he wanted to buy that house in order to keep a close eye on Kim. Which, to be completely honest with you guys, is kind of annoying to me because Kanye West strikes me as someone in this situation who wants to have his cake and eat it too. Scott Disick has also been like this in the past and it absolutely bugs me. If you're gonna be out they're dating, which keep in mind, this is now the third woman that Kanye West has been linked to since him and Kim Kardashian separated and started the divorce process. But if he is going to be out there dating and doing whatever he wants, he cannot expect Kim Kardashian to just sit at home and not date herself. That's not fair. If you're going to be out there dating, your ex can also be out there dating and you have absolutely zero room to say or do anything about it. Now, having said all of that, do I still think that Kim and Pete Davidson are a publicity stunt? Absolutely. But still, I stand by everything I said and on top of that, I also truly don't think that Kanye West and this Julia Fox woman are serious at all. I think a couple of dinner dates in Kanye West's world don't really amount to dating. That's just my own personal opinion. I know that Page Six Source said that they are dating and they're kindred spirits and I think that's great, but I really don't think that Kanye is gonna go the long haul with this Julia Fox woman. Again, just my own personal opinion. I just feel like this whole New Year's Eve dating situation was just an ego thing for Kanye and a way for him to say, look at me, I know that Kim is dating Pete, but I'm also out here dating other people too. And in addition to that, expanding to what I was kind of saying before I got to popping off, I really do think that Kanye didn't want to watch the kids for New Year's Eve because he knew then Kim would have to stay home and 
she couldn't be with Pete Davidson for New Year's Eve and create more headlines and create more hype and maybe on some level start to take their relationship from a PR stunt to real. I truly believe that Kanye West is petty enough to do something like that. And for people who say, oh, I don't think Kanye West cares that much. I absolutely think he still cares. I absolutely think that if Kim Kardashian called him up tomorrow and said, hey, let's get back together, I think he would do it. So a large part of me definitely believes that Kanye West and all of his New Year's Eve festivities from planning the surprise performance in Miami to the dates, I really think that might have been his petty way of getting back at Kim and Pete. Again, just my own personal opinion. And I also think it's just gonna be really interesting to see not only where Kim and Kanye go from here, because I definitely think there's more drama in the future, but I'm also interested to see how Kim Kardashian talks about her divorce with Kanye West and potentially her new relationship with Pete Davidson on the Kardashians new Hulu show. We finally got a trailer over the new year. It's essentially them just wishing everybody happy new year, but we now have the trailer. We know they're filming. So a premiere date is absolutely inevitable. And I cannot wait to see how this is covered on this new Hulu show. I'm very, very intrigued. I cannot lie. But in the meantime, I want to hear what you guys think about all this Kim and Kanye news. So let me know all your thoughts and feels down below. While you guys are at it, make sure you give me a follow over on Instagram and TikTok. I have some big Instagram and TikTok goals this year. So please, if you're not following me there, I would really, really appreciate it. Also, you guys, make sure you come back to my channel and check out my YouTube shorts. You guys can also find all of my merch over at my merch store at houseofhill.com. And on that note, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Happy New Year.